You know, ever since I was a gigging musician, back before I was building pedals and things like that, I always used like a Hot Rod Deluxe. Not always, but generally. Like a, just a fender that I could bang around and throw around and get decent sounds out of. And uh, the one I used most was like a Hot Rod Deluxe, uh, Hot Rod DeVille sometimes, but usually like a Hot Rod Deluxe. And the thing I never really liked about it, which a lot of people don't like about it as well, is the distortion channel on that. And, uh, and even the clean channel, it, it's, it's decent. It's not fantastic, but it's decent. And um, I finally, well, just recently, came across a product that uh, was shown to me that is fantastic for making uh, it, basically any amp, but especially what I use it for, for gigs and stuff, for taking that amp and transforming it into something drastically different. So and it, all you need is, is uh, an effects loop. It's got to be a series effects loop. can't be a parallel one. And uh, an input, which you probably have since it's a guitar amp. So, and that will transform it in the amp, whether it's, you know, name an amp of your choice with an effects loop that's a series effects loop. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Follow me. Let's, uh, let's check this thing out. So this unit here is called the Sin One. It's made by a company called Synergy. They've partnered up with a bunch of different name brand, uh, you know, guys who build amps like Mike Sedano, for example, Dave Friedman, for another example, the diesel guys, Morgan, uh, a bunch of other guys, and are continuously partnering up with other people. And what they're doing is they're taking the entire preamp section of that amp designed by the guy that designed the amp. So like Mike Sedano designed this for this box. So let me show you. We just can pull, unscrew these pins here, lightly pull it out. Let's see if I can make the camera focus on it here real quick. They are completely tube. It literally is the exact preamp. You can see the fancy uh, caps and resistors and stuff like that in there and boom it's an SLO 100 in a box that I can then take with that and get the sound of an SLO amp just a fantastic idea so it may seem a little complicated at first it's really not that complicated at all what we're going to do is we're going to run the jack on here that says to the input. We're going to run from the input to the, the input to the, from this jack that says input into the input of the amp. Then we have to effects send and to effects return. So you simply plug it, a guitar cable from that jack to the effects send and then from the other jack to the effects return. Got a foot switch as well, so we can change the channels and bypass it. So if you love your clean channel of your amp, you can use that. Even if you love your, dis your distorted channel of your amp, you can use that as well. It's using relays to like true bypass everything. So you can use your amp without disturbing it in any way, and then add more channels on top of the amp, whether it's clean stuff or whether it's dirty stuff. So I'm gonna do, uh, I have like a bunch of these modules. So I'm going to do a demonstration of a bunch of them until I get bored. And uh, we'll see what it sounds like and let you guys decide. So let's check it out. Okay, so my clean channel, just the normal clean channel of this Hot Rod Fender, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, sounds like this. Which is not bad, right? Got a little bit, a little bit too much reverb on there, but that's all right. We can we can take it down a little bit. I can still use the dirt channel on this. No thanks, but I can. What I'd rather use is, uh, you know, let's say I want an SLO 100 for this song.
And I also need a high gain section because I'm going to do a ripping solo. Not that that's a ripping solo, but if I could do it, that's where it would be at. So, um, I got that sound there. And it's, it's really handy that if, if it's, it's not like a pedal at all, where a pedal is taking what you put into the input of the amp and trying to morph that, what's already there, and shape it before it gets to that preamp and um, you're trying to get that sound. We're actually running high voltages here, just like the actual amp. So it's a totally different, not only sound, it's a totally different feel too. And uh, this also has like a sack dial as well. So you can, it's not anything you really hear as much as you feel. So if I'm, it, right now it's all the way up. So it's got just a slight bit of compression, but not like a compressor pedal. Just where you, when you hit the note, When you hit that note, you um, it just feels like it would if the amp was cranked up wide open. Now, let me dial it all the way down. I know, it was a terrible photo shot, but oh well. It's all the way down. You probably don't hear that much of a difference, but feel-wise, it feels completely different. It's just, there's this natural compression, um, and I, I believe... I want to say Steve Fryette maybe actually designed that. Uh, probably should have checked on that. But anyways, it's a really cool circuit. And um, that sag dial, I just usually leave it up all the way, all the time. So this is the SLO module. And uh, let's try a different module and see what it sounds like. All right, so this is the Morgan AC. And uh, totally different. I want to do a totally different thing than anything that uh, Sedano's doing. So... Let's put this bag boy in here and uh, fire it up. All right, so right now I am going through the same exact amp. I just got the the uh, Morgan module in there, and I believe the AC's. I don't. I guess it's kind of like a Voxy thing. Kind of sounds that way to my ears. And um, I have it set up so I have like a clean channel set up and then like a dirty channel. I think right now I'm on. I'm on my tuner. <laughs> Okay, so here we have the traditional Fender sound. Hit the Morgan side. Just a very chimey, I, I like that sound. I probably played way longer than I should have right there, but it's just a very cool chimey sound. Um, I just dig so much. So let's hit the dirt channel. cool sound to have again same amp just a different module now that is through the fender hot rod deluxe so let's try it through a, a little different amp and get a little bit different flavor from the modules because everything's going to sound different right because you got a different you're you, you're basically going into the power amp from the module so you know different cabinet different speaker different all, all that stuff is going to make for a bit of a different sound but it's still going to be freaking killer so uh, let's try it out now Okay, so now I'm running through the Bravado amp, and the Bravado, of course, is an amp that we make, and it's, it's a, I would call it more black facey style, kind of, sort of, and, um, but with a different change of mids and a different, 
anyways, so it's a little bit different, but it's pretty clean, right? So here's here's the base um, the base clean tone. <laughs> Now I haven't changed any modules yet, so I'm still using the Morgan AC in this, and um, there's a bright switch on it. I have the bright on right now. I'll kick it off in just a second though. Let me kick that kick. Let me turn off the bright switch real quick. All right, so this is the bright switch off of that channel I have set up for clean. And when we hit the dirty uh, channel, not actually hitting it, but turning it on, it sounds like this. All right, so that's through the Bravado amp. Uh, let me run a few different modules. That's the Morgan AC. Uh, what is it? Yeah, the Morgan AC module, super cool. If you, um, like I said, sounds sounds kind of oxy to me, and it's a really really cool sounding uh, module. So let's try something with a little more gain, and uh, let's get a little genty. What do you think on, on the Telecaster? Okay, so this is the Diesel VH4 module. It's got uh, two gain channels and um, high gain, low gains. It's all in there. Also, something I did not mention is this unit does have a uh, cabinet simulator, analog if you want. Uh, well, it's analog, but if you want to use it, it has a switch on the back. You can turn it on or off. Um, I like to run it into an impulse response loader and um, use that. So, in fact, you could take just this unit, just this in one, run that into like a two notes or something, and um, use that as your amp, like let's say you're in you know, you just throw your things in an Uber or a taxi or something like that. It's a very quick setup to just take with you. Very cool. So that's a little bit about this unit. And uh, let's play some some regular stuff. Let's uh, some some Brian Brianish stuff. Let's do it. All right. So I promised you some genting. Obviously, I look like the guy that normally gents regularly. So uh, I'm going to use a Telecaster. So here's a. Uh, Here's some genting on the diesel module. It's a really good sounding module, by the way, but a little more about that in a minute. But first, some gentiness. <laughs> All right, so with this particular module, we do have two channels on it. They're both voiced a little bit different. One's a little bit higher gain than the other. They're both still pretty high gain. I've got the gains down quite a bit. So one's less than halfway and the other one's about halfway. But um, roughly here's the two different tones in this one. Nope, oh, that's not it. So that's the diesel module, fairly high gain, 
like I said, uh, let's run into something a little bit more traditional. Um, I've got like 15 of these here. Not gonna run through all of them on this video, but I do wanna run through a couple of different ones. So let's try out, uh, I think there's a Baseman and a Tweed Deluxe have been aching to, well, a Tweedish style and a Baseman style module. So let's try those out real quick. All right, so here's the B-Man module. So uh, this is, I think this is kind of based off like a 59 Baseman. These little toggles here will control brightness and kind of like a sort of a low bass boost. I'm not sure if it's like a uh, adding a, a, a bigger input cap or what exactly it's doing, but it's kind of like a bottom end boost. Um, two different channels here. The lower one is not as, um, doesn't have as much gain as the top one and is a little bit brighter it sounds like. Uh, so I'm not sure if like this is supposed to be the bright channel and that's the normal channel, but they are voiced a little bit differently. I have, as you can see, I have the gains kind of set up pretty much uh, about the same place. So we'll check it out and see what it sounds like to this. All right, so let's play through the B-Man module. Um, and just keep in mind, I don't know if I explained this that well earlier, but when I'm using the Synergy unit, it's bypassing all of the preamp stuff going on in uh, Bravado or whatever amp I'm using. It's bypassing all that stuff and going straight right into uh, the effects return, basically. So, uh, you know, you're hitting the phase inverter, power tubes, speaker, listener, all that sort of thing. So, let's, uh, let's play some music. That's my clean tone. That's my, just the amp tone. And the B-Man. I'm on the bottom channel right now. Let's kick on the top channel. So let's do one more because I'm fading fast, guys, and I uh, need some more coffee. So we're going to do one more. I think it's going to be the one that's based off the Tweed Deluxe, I believe it's called. Let's check that out right now. All right, so this is the T Deluxe, which has two different channels. In fact, this looks a lot like the B-Man, right? Uh, both being kind of Tweed-based, I guess you could say. Um, they're, they are going to look alike, So, but they're going to sound... A bit different so this is more like a tweed deluxe two different channels here uh, this one the top one is a little hotter bottom one is not quite as hot a little, little brighter and uh, same toggles here so you have bright controls uh, th those are three position on both this and the b-man and then that base toggle on each channel is uh, three position as well along with separate three band eqs for both so let's jump in it and let's play this mug all right, so this is the T Deluxe. Uh, very similar looking to the basement because both being tweed circuits, they are a little bit similar. Um, I find the Tweed Deluxe has a little bit more bottom end roundness to it. So I keep calling it Tweed Deluxe. The T Deluxe, rather, has a little bit more uh, bottom end. Uh, I, I guess that's the best way to describe it. Bottom end roundness, woodiness, wooliness, I don't know. But um, two different channels, they both sound different, of course. One has a little bit more gain and uh, the other one is a little bit cleaner. So I'll show you how I have set it up. Here we go. Okay, there's my clean tone. T Deluxe.
All right, let me turn the gain up on both those channels just a little bit and we'll see what it does when it gets dirty. Okay, gain's up almost all the way. This is the, this is the top channel. I think I wasn't going to pick some chickens on this, did you? Nah, got to pick some chickens. All right, and that's the T Deluxe. And um, you know what? I'm feeling I'm feeling one more because there's one I've been dying to try. It's the one from from Metropolis, the Plexi style thing. We got to do that. All right, and this is the Metroplex. Uh, this is made by Metropolis. Well, it's made by Synergy, but it's licensed through Metropolis. So this is basically like a plexi from what I gather. Two different channels, global three band EQ, and um, let's jump in it and rock out a bit. All right, we now have the Metroplex from Synergy and Metropolis. And uh, by the way, I said let's rock out. Does anyone even actually even say that anymore? I don't think so. My apologies. Let's play. All right. That is my clean tone. First channel is, I got this gain set up almost all the way, and the other channel set up with the gain pretty far down at about 10 o'clock. So this is a um, higher gain thing. <laughs> That's fantastic. So I hope you guys uh, hope you guys like the video. Hope you love the sounds. Uh, full disclosure: the guy that owns the company is a buddy of mine, and uh, he lent me the prototype about a year ago. And I told him, I said, "This is absolutely fantastic, completely great." So love it. Uh, love all the stuff. I'm looking at the modules I have now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of those. I think. All different amps. Uh, I didn't even get to the Friedman stuff today, so I'll have to do another video later on and uh, do some of the Friedman modules because they're equally great as well. And um, all right, so I hope you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next week.